Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well and today we're going to be covering the stock National Express and this is a stock that you guys recommend me for me to do a review on next so uh, I'm doing it today and same as always guys if you comment down below let me know which stock you want me to look into next. If the stock that you want me to look into next has already been posted make sure you like or click the thumbs up button on that comment rather than posting it again because whichever one has the most likes is the one that I'll do so uh, for your vote to count really don't double post the stock just check the comment section and see if yours is on there but national express was a really demanded one and uh i was supposed to do this uh, a bit earlier but with everything that's kind of gone on recently especially like the boohoo kind of scenario that we had going on um or situation should i say um i kind of was focusing on that so uh, i said i would do it this week and eventually i i got here and i'm finally doing the video on national express so so sorry for the, the delay in it uh but here we go so when I think of National Express, I or just you know I kind of think of the coaches and uh, the transport around United Kingdom, but it's actually a, a bigger company than just that. It's actually a, a worldwide company that's operating in Europe, uh, even Asia and like North America. It's uh, quite a big company, and it's not just coaches as well. It's other forms of transport that this company is actually operating in. Um, so he, this company is actually a decent size. Uh, what I really like about this company is that it's I expanding international. Like I kind of get fed up of you know UK companies that just operate in the UK and that's it. You know, there's always a ceiling if you do that. You know, uh, you've got to kind of go worldwide uh, to help that growth, uh, especially when you get to quite a decent size in the UK. And uh, National Express have de been doing that exactly perfectly right over the last kind of three years so the ticker for this this one is nex and like i said it's a transport company this company has sold off um obviously it was affected by the coronavirus just like how many companies were uh it was one of those companies that stopped operating uh but they are operating again right now uh so that obviously affected the share price um and obviously going forward it probably will affect the company over the next 12 months but when more events are happening, people are going to be traveling, traveling more. It should recover. Um, it's not going to be one of those that recovers, um, you know, overnight or in the next couple of months. But a lot of companies won't recover that quick. So um, yeah. Um, overall, my kind of thing thoughts with like the current situation is that, you know, it's one of those companies that isn't going to recover so quick. But um, it it will recover at some point, and I think it's a company that is uh, definitely not on the verge of bankruptcy so um yeah I, I would take that into consideration but th the stock price did drop absolutely huge from it so it's trading at one pound 77 now and peak or uh, just you know the week before we started seeing the prices get affected because the coronavirus this was a, a four pound 76 stock and um, so it has sold off you've got a big massive discount in the company uh, which is interesting on simply wall street it is 45 percent undervalued uh, it does trade at a p ratio of six which is really cheap like uh, for a company that was you know doing really well growth wise and uh, it actually paid like a five percent dividend before it was cancelled to be down at a p of six you know anything below five is kind of suggesting that the company has a chance of going bankrupt uh so yeah uh p of six is like very very low uh, and this company is uh, a decent company as well um so yeah a p of six is definitely quite cheap and uh, when we look at the growth past and present uh over the last few years the company's done really well to help its growth um revenue growing quite healthy profit were growing quite healthy so growth wise this company was in a good position uh previously and the forecasts are pretty good on it obviously might be slightly different because of the COVID-19, but still the forecasts were pretty good on this company. So growth wise, I'm, I'm really happy with the growth in this company. Uh, balance sheet wise, um, a little bit more uglier. Um, I mean, 126% debt to equity, which is uh, a little high. Um, it's, it's not terrible, uh, but uh, yeah, it could be a little bit of a cleaner balance sheet. Um, it does have 486 million in cash though, and that is a, a really healthy cash. Uh, amount to have there just for any rainy days like this situation 1.4 billion in debt so the cash to debt is i would say okay uh, it's not terrible it's not amazing you know if it could have a bit more cash that would be ideal but um yeah with, with this company and how it operates and the infrastructure it needs it is going to have a lot of debt uh, but the cash, uh, yeah, I'm happy with the amount of cash. So overall, the balance sheet is okay. It's not terrible. It's not amazing. But it's an okay balance sheet. So uh, 
can know uh, red flags exactly there. Uh, on the insider side, it is a bit of mix and match. So uh, in, there has been a few people buying uh, previously, like the past the three months mark. But in the last couple of months, we've had 529,000 bought, 831,000 sold. And one of the insiders selling was the CEO. And I was kind of like, oh, why is that happening? That's a red flag. And I was like, oh, crap, he's off to a persimmon, isn't it? And I totally forgot I did like the video on the house builder like earlier this week. And uh, I mentioned that the new CEO for persimmon was the na old National Express CEO. Um, and I was like, oh, yeah, of course, that's where he's going. He's off to persimmon. So, yeah, there is going to be a CEO change in um National Express because he is going to Persimmon uh, and because of that that's probably why he sold some of this, the shares that he does have in uh, National Express stock which is probably one of the reasons because he did he did sell a lot of shares um, so that's probably you know why the stock hasn't you know rebounded as much even though it's back operating again um, so I would say that uh, potentially the, obviously the CEO um, I think it's Dean Finch off the top of my head. I'm not sure, uh, but I think that's the CEO. Um, obviously, uh, the CEO, he has done fantastic on National Express over the last three, four years. Uh, so he will be a bit of a miss for the company. Um, so obviously there's a new CEO coming in. So you've got kind of the questions around the CEO that that, that does come in to replace, uh, replace him. Um, so that is kind of a little bit of a, it's not a terrible thing. It's just, you don't, you kind of like a bit unknown, aren't you? Uh, but the, the foundations for the company to carry on doing fantastic are, are there. Uh, but that's something to, you know, say that, you know, the, there is going to be a management change on this company. Uh, and, and inside the company as well, it is a company that reopened. Uh, it started operating again on the 1st of July and kind of ramping its service back up. Obviously, I don't think it'll be to the capacity of what it was, uh, pre-COVID-19 but eventually you know it will probably get back there one day uh, it does operate in a lot of countries and it's expanded to other countries so uh, it's been building up other things like uh, I think it's Morocco I think it's been uh, opening or doing more services in uh, United States Germany um, so it's been building a lot of different countries up there and I'm sure it'll be looking to expand even into more countries from here uh, some of them aren't just uh, different forms of transport as well. And when you look at the countries that they're moving into outside of the United Kingdom, because the the United Kingdom itself, the growth's you know slowing down a little bit. It's kind of you know hit the ceiling in the United Kingdom, as as we say. Um, the growth is in other countries, and when you look at some of the other countries' growth, uh, the US growth stands out, and obviously that's a big, massive country. So there's a lot of potential to carry on the growth there. Uh, same again, you know, the pushing towards the German side of it. And once again, there's a lot of growth potential in Germany, a big country as well. Um, so, yeah, uh, the growth side of it, US side of it, German side of it, the growth's been really good there. I think uh, it's been growing, you know, over 10%. I think even in uh, some, uh, I think Germany might even be more than 10%. Um, so, yeah, some of the growth here is fantastic looking forward. Um, so, definitely a lot of potential worldwide with this one overall. So overall, my kind of opinions with National Express is that it was a good company going into coronavirus and obviously it is going to be here, but how much is that reflected in the share price right now? Quite a bit. Um, so I think that there's the suitable discount there for what has happened to the company. I, I would be a little bit wary about the CEO change and making sure they get the right CEO. Um, that would have to be uh, co the correct decision. You know, management is a big thing and management can uh, definitely change a business overall. Um, so that's something just be wary of but it is in a pretty decent position uh, revenue wise profit wise balance sheets okay um so overall when i look at the company i would say that these sort of prices i think it's not a bad price to invest in and i i would personally rate this company as a buy right now um i don't know if i will personally buy it myself um i'll have a think about it i mean a lot of my focus obviously has been on boohoo recently um and also I do have a, a few transport kind of companies in there already with kind of like Jet2. Uh, obviously it's not the same sort of transport, but obviously I'm kind of in that, you know, travel and tourism side already. Um, so I don't know if National Express is exactly the right fit for my portfolio personally. Uh, but overall, like the company is at a cheap price with a lot of potential. So like I said, I would rate it a buy at these sort of prices for sure. And I would say that, you know, if you were to invest in this company, I would say there's at least a 50% upside over the next two years. And I would say even if you're holding it for, you know, two to five years, um, definitely towards the five year end of the 
spectrum i would definitely say you could easily get a, a you know 100 percent return on this one if you're willing to hold the company that long and uh yeah it's a pretty decent company overall at cheap prices so uh if you were to buy this one i won't blame you because it is quite attractive and personally like i say i would rate it buy but i don't know if i'll buy it myself um just like i say because of the reasons i said but overall i think that was a really good suggestion so uh for you guys that were looking into national express i hope this helped you and as always if you can like the video subscribe if you haven't Remember, comment down below and let me know which stock you would like me to cover next. And I will do that one hopefully next week if nothing crazy happens with Boohoo. And I'll see you on the next video.